He was giving them the business. It really is a busy week. We were about to, we were literally what, 15 minutes away from recording last night. And then uh, somebody just randomly messaged me that Jeff Passan just broke that big thing about the Mets GM. And we were kind of like, dude, we, let's see how this plays out and let's wait to record tomorrow. And the way it's played out since then, obviously, which we kind of knew they were just going to fire the guy. Like, what else are they going to do? You know, let him resign. That was the only options. It was yeah. And it's, I kind of thought of that today. I was like, yeah, they just came out right and fired him. Steve Cohen's not fucking around, dude. This is so, I mean, obviously by now, if you're involved in sports in any way, you're well aware of what's going on. The New York Mets GM, Jared Porter, who man, by all means, had it made cut his teeth with the in front office with the Red Sox with the Cubs was the assistant GM with the Diamondbacks came over to uh, the Mets in December as their GM that GMs make a good amount of money he had a great life like he's making probably a million bucks a year in baseball what what what, what more could you want you know apparently an Asian girlfriend. That's what dude. Okay. Want. Yeah. And it's like, a, and I've read pretty deep into this. Apparently this thing was in 2016. Yes. This was all in 2016 that this all was going was on with the, with the Cubs. He was with the Cubs. Yeah. And in 2016, this, like the reporter basically said, I'm not, I don't want to come out with this just because of like the way that I'm not sure exactly what country she's in, but the way she I explained it, which makes a lot of, it, it, it has to be Japan or Korea as far as baseball stuff goes. Um, and it just, the way that she was talking about it was like in my country, no matter what happens, if there's any kind of sexual scandal with a woman, the woman gets dragged through the mud. And now that since like then Japan. she is, yeah, she's out of baseball. She's working on something else. I think she has an only fans. Um, no, I don't know. She, uh, she was kind of like, let it fly, but I don't want my thing to be my like name to be released. And Jeff Passan broke this story last night. Shouts out Jeff Passan. He's a fucking, he's the best dude. He's the is Adam he Schefter the of baseball. Did did Jeff Passett make the video that's on ESPN? Where he what video? The story in front of a Nintendo. Probably he's a, he's a pretty young dude. I don't know how young old or young Jeff Passett is, but he's a pretty young dude, and he's like the baseball Adam Schefter, which is fucking sweet. Um, but so apparently Jared Porter in 2016 was, and apparently there's a kind of a language barrier between the two. And he was, I've kind of gone through and read all the messages, and he's just a, a creep. He's a an idiot. Like he's. He's a creep. Yeah, he's the- a, he's both. He's a creep and an idiot because, yeah, it's uh, because for initially she's responding to the text, so I could see why, you know, a, a doofus would think that she was interested. Um, but yeah, I she- mean, the way that he, the ESPN article that I read and some other stuff I read, he at one point said, sent 60 unresponded to messages. In uh, like 48 hours. Yeah, and then the at the he like sent one and he's like a fat and that's what it's this is a big loss for fat guys okay yeah, yeah, some of I us know. fat guys are out here doing okay you know we're not doing this we get our pussy the correct way okay that's mm-hmm. that's i'm talking about this like i'm a republican yeah i'm talking about this like i'm a republican talking about illegal immigration where you're i'm like, like hey you're like a, a guy who's talking about the QAnon. you know how they're ruining the name of the republican party exactly hey i want fat guys to get pussy more than anyone else but i want them to do it the correct way okay the right way and that's what i did that's what i've been doing my whole life and welcome and- to the master class on <laughs> fat guys getting pussy <laughs> it's taught by me and stavros halkius yeah um dude so he said he like had sent one of like his bulge in his pants when he's laying on his back in a hotel room bed and he also sent a few selfies of that classic fat guy i'm gonna look less fat by like opening my mouth in a picture you know what i'm saying like oh like he's trying to hide his triple chin which i understand dude i'm all for hiding your triple chin but just what are you doing dude don't be a fucking creep and he sent the 60 unresponded to text messages and the very last one he was like you know what those 60 those 59 didn't work but number 60 is the kicker here is my hard dick Mm. yeah he really he he thought he needed to up the offer uh, which makes him a terrible salesman. And also this guy, first of all, it's important to point out that he cut his teeth in the Red Sox organization, but he started as an intern and he worked his way all the way up to the head of scouting. He had it made. He had it made. Head of scouting is a great job. But also it's a job based on observation. You've got to judge people's temperaments. Can they make it in a major league atmosphere? How will they do under the lights? How will they do yes. with 60,000 people watching them? High pressure situations. You've got to read personalities. 
And a hundred percent this guy ahead of a scout for a team and not, it's not like he was the head of the scout scouting for some shit team. Like it was a team that was racking up world series. Uh, and Red Sox and Cubs. He's a, he's a Theo Epstein guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Theo Epstein was with the Red Sox and then went to the Cubs. Yeah. So he, he took them with him. So uh, and, the, and if Theo Epstein sees enough in you to take him with you from one team to another, it's like, you've got something going on. I got a text today from one of my friends who's pretty like way into baseball, especially he's like, isn't it crazy that a guy who's smart enough to get a GM job, be the head of scouting for the Cubs is also stupid enough to send 62 straight unanswered texts. It's uh, it, he's getting what he deserves, but it just sucks for the Mets because the Mets are finally relevant again. And they got, you know, they had, they were becoming a destination team, especially after Dude. landing Lindor. Lindor. I wonder if this is going to affect the Lindor deal. I mean, I'm assuming that's already locked in already signed. I don't know. I didn't look into it, but the Lindor I mean, deal is definitely set, but I would imagine that this is going to dude at the end of the day, in my mind, the Mets are the Mets are the Mets. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Like same dude, this is kind of very similar to the Carlos Beltran thing. Carlos Beltran gets signed. He doesn't ever manage a game with the Mets two months later, let go. This dude gets hired, breaks a crazy deal, does a great job. Brokers an incredible trade, gives nothing for fucking crazy good talent. And immediately before the season even starts, he's gone. This just is such, this just puts a stink on the Mets that they do not need right now. Here's my question. I wonder and, and like, I, I'm glad he got what he deserved and that. I'm oh not, yeah. He's fuck him. Yeah. Fuck him. But what I'm saying is it's always interesting how these things drop because it's like, it's an ethical issue and, an eth but ethical issues always drop at really convenient times. Like say when an organization, maybe a yep. cross town organization is uh, starting to become relevant and starting to become maybe grabbing the headlines. What I'm saying is I wonder if somebody from the New York Yankees we're like, you know what? Fuck these Mets. We're going to have this in our back pocket. And uh, as soon as something big happens, we're going to take them down. Because I I can't assume that it came out, you know, a month after signing Francisco Lindor for no uh, for no reason. Or like, I, I imagine this has been kicked around and somebody threw it to Jeff Passan. I would, I don't know. I don't want to say. No, too, this has been, well, this has been kicked around since 2016. Jeff Passan has known about this since 2016. Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't read that. So they've all, a lot of people have known about this since 2016. It's kind of Louis CK ish where people knew about it here. And like, it was, it was like kind of an inside thing. They just didn't break the story huge because specifically props to Jeff Passan props to ESPN. They didn't, um, they didn't, the woman asked for it to not break because she was still in baseball and didn't oh, want this to go down. See, That's kind of what I was saying earlier. It's kind of see, more shame. You see how much of a Red Sox fan I am. I'm like, yeah. I'm like I'm <laughs> held on to this information and they waited till it, not because they care about that woman, but because they want to slander another organization. I'm Absolutely. No, hundred percent. Respecting a woman's wishes. Okay. My bad. That's what I'm saying too. Props to Jeff Passan for being a, a decent gentleman in that, in that regard, especially but, because how hot would that have been to put that out in 2016 when all the heads were rolling? You know what that I would mean? Have been, yeah. That would have, I mean, now is, I don't know. This makes me think that the Mets are done in free agency because right now they have no GM who's brokering these deals right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe they have their, their president or like head of baseball operations, whatever, but it's like, or this puts such a stink on the Mets. Jerry Jones and just being an owner slash GM right now. I mean, maybe Steve, dude, I mean, you know, Steve Coe, he tweeted this morning that the Mets have terminated Jared Porter. So terminated. I mean, he even said, right. Cohen said in my initial press conference, I spoke about the importance of integrity and I mean it. He's like, there'll be zero tolerance for this type of behavior. So, which I mean, obviously, obviously okay. so zero you know. tolerance for something there's been rumors about since 2016. Yeah. And you know, of course they're <laughs> like, well, I didn't know. I didn't hear about nothing until just this moment. And it's like, who fucking knows, man. But Jared Porter had it made, dude. I'm not sure exactly how old he is. I don't even think he's 40. I think he's like maybe 38 to 40, early 40s. He's a pretty young looking dude. And he just, I mean, you get fast. You got it made, dude. You he got it made. Right what are you podcaster doing? face now? So it seems like he's going to be like, a, he's going to have to become a Republican podcaster. Well, it's like, dude, you got it made. Board. You have it so made. You're a young GM of a team that has never been more on the up and up. Yeah, that woman. I re now I realize what you're saying. She left the industry. She's no longer in baseball, and yeah. uh, I think somebody explained to her that the American media would be sympathetic to her, and it's worth it. 
Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not cool. And it's, this guy's a fucking piece of shit. But as far as what I think happens from here is I think that I think this means George, I mean, I'll talk about all this later. I think this means George Springer is going to the blue Jays and that Trevor Bauer is either going to the blue Jays. Uh, I don't know. Blue Jays make sense for Trevor Bauer. Cause I, I got some more saying, Trevor Bauer stuff later. You saying Trevor Bauer is going to the angels. I did, but then I've since read more stuff about that. And you I think the complete opposite record saying that he's going to go to every possible team that we can cut it out and be like, yep. Bruce called this. Trevor Bauer is purposely staying so far out of everything. I got, I'll talk about all that stuff later in the baseball stuff, but uh, let's get into some James Harden, Kyrie Irving stuff. James well, Harden. 